Hello, thanks for joining us on Tech Report. I'm Bridie Barry. Well, the announcement earlier this year by the Rudd government of intentions to slash fringe benefit tax breaks unleashed a wave of havoc in the auto industry. And Macmillan Shakespeare, a leading salary packaging company, famously suffered a major share price loss as a result. Let's get some more on the fallout in this space. We're joined now by Devin Billamoria, the CEO of Smart Group, another major player in the salary packaging and novated leases sector. Um, thank you so much for your time this morning and we'll, we'll get also to, to uh, something that you've done as well in light of all of this in, in a way to diversify. But I just firstly wanted to ask you about the impact. I mean, we, we heard from Macmillan Shakespeare what they had to do in terms of staff and, and the impact on their business from that sudden announcement from the Rudd government. Obviously the coalition said they aren't going to go through with these changes at all but what was the impact on um, your business yeah instantly overnight what we found after the announcement is that industry volumes fell fell off precipitously um, but as the as the government as the outgoing government actually never legislated anything and the incoming government made it very clear that these are changes they're not going ahead with what we found after the election on the Monday morning was that it's, it's still someone flipped a switch mm -hmm. and suddenly the volumes are right back on and um, in through that course what we did is we never uh, we made it very clear to all of our staff uh, that we weren't letting any staff go um, because of the uncertainty around the election and we hadn't had any staff go on leave and so the staff have really rallied around this and they're, they're very very even much more engaged uh, than they were before the announcements were made so it's been a fantastic result uh, for smart salary given given the the election outcome in terms of the volumes you mentioned there bouncing back a week ago today are they back though to the levels before the Rudd government made that announcement? yeah you know so what happens is the inc incoming inquiries are back to 95 to 100 percent of where they were before all of our employers we've developed really good strong relationship with our client employers and all of our employers have continued to offer salary packaging innovative leasing through the through the changes so when the Monday came around we were back as though nothing had ever happened and so it's been a really fantastic result uh, for the company I guess just one last question on this because we've seen with Macmillan Shakespeare some um, analysts saying that there's now a sense of risk involved that, that this can happen that, that, that it's opened up that people are now aware of it when it comes to salary packaging companies yeah. is that you know something that you're concerned about are you you know building this into your uh, your strategy absolutely it's some the risk has, has been there for 13 years okay. what we found is because this is the first time that a government has made categorically clear that this is a change they're not going ahead with now things can change always and we know that and that's one of the reasons we're deciding to go ahead and, and innovate and have new business models in place that that take us away from some of that risk mm -hmm. just one quick question on confidence Please. too do you think uh, that we are going to see an improvement um, is that any sense of that happening even early on in the, the new term of the, the new government in, um, in terms of confidence surrounding business well, from your point of view what we can say is our volumes have recovered to okay. what they were before the July 16th announcements yep. um, so that's been a lot of confidence has been injected into, okay. into into our business all right um, I wanted to ask you then about what you're doing to diversify and innovate tell us about this new startup yeah you know so we source about 10,000 vehicles every single year and we thought to ourselves and this is for innovative leasing in our fleet customers yep. and we thought to ourselves why should only our innovative leasing and fleet customers be able to tap into our buying power as a buyer of vehicles of 10,000 cars every single year? Mm -hmm. And so we thought, let's see if we can orient this business to the retail market. If someone wants to buy a vehicle for themselves to drive around the weekends or whatever it might be, well, why shouldn't they also take advantage of our buying power? Mm -hmm. And that's where we created Autogenie. Mm -hmm. And Autogenie is there to service a segment of the market that we believe was previously not serviced by this fantastic buying power. Mm. So tell us, how does it work? So uh, you're at home and you're looking to buy a new car. You go to autogenie.com.au, tap, 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 tap. You go ahead and you find, uh, you identify the car you want and you select uh, within 24 hours. What we do is we put it out to our dealer network. And we work with 250 some odd of the biggest dealers in Australia. We put it out to our dealer network and within 24 hours, we'll provide you with three fantastic quotes. Mm -hmm. And so what you do is your, all of your details, by the way, are kept absolutely confidential. No dealer will even know that you're looking for a car. But when you go ahead and hit select and you identify the quote that you want, 
At that moment, your details are then released to that particular dealer for that particular vehicle, and then you go ahead and do the transaction. There's no negotiation required offline whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we charge a $49 fee to the consumer, and in exchange for that, what we find, our typical buyer, they save several thousand dollars on the, on the cost of the car. So, if I may say so, we think it's a ridiculously good value proposition. How do the dealers feel about it though? You know, the dealers really like it. Uh, it's, it's been, um, one of the things that dealers want, this business, what we realize, the automotive industry, is really relying upon a high volume of, 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 of sales. Mm -hmm. And what we provide is highly qualified leads that go out to dealers and, and, and so dealers don't have to spend a lot of time with people going to dealer after dealer, weekend after weekend, trying to get the best deal. When someone comes to Autogenie or Smart Salary or to the Smart Group, they know they have a qualified lead and they're happy to go through with that transaction. Mm -hmm. um, how, how much do you want this to be uh, in, in terms of the um, contribu contributor to your overall business? Is this, I mean, yeah. where you see the future or? You know, well, right now it's just a very small business. Uh, you know, Smart Group has been going for 12 years. So what Autogenie is today is a very small part of the overall business. But a lot of people, the way they buy cars is they go to dealer after dealer, weekend after weekend, trying to negotiate themselves the best deal. And so we think that logically having a group that's doing the buying for you, effectively having the dealers bid for the vehicles, um, that's got to be a model that's attractive. And at the price point that we have it out to the market and the amount of money that people are saving, we think that this has some traction. We've only launched it this year and so far we're seeing some really good results. Okay. And just one last final question, I guess, about the, the state of the economy in terms of demand then overall in all parts of your business. What, what are you seeing? Because obviously cars are, are a major purchase for, for both business and consumer. What, what's your sense? I mean, is, are you getting any sense that um, you know people are going to to start pushing through with those purchases now? Yeah, well, when I talk to executives in whatever domain they're in, uh, at business luncheons or dinners or whatever it might be, I sense in Australia there's a high level of optimism and confidence in the economy and where we're going. And I think Australia is well placed for continued growth uh, going forward into the future. Certainly, if our business is anything to go by. All right. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us this morning. Thanks so much, Brady. Great to be here. Devin Villamoria, there, CEO of Smart Group.